date is um, September 22nd, 2014. We're here with Ruth. Um, Ruth <coughs> has a diagnosis of an anal cancer. When she came to see us in July, uh, she had chemo and radiation. And they're telling her that she would need a surgery then to remove it, which would leave her with a bag. Um, you had chemo and radiation, Ruth. Would you tell the viewer what it was like for you the day you walked in this door? Well, before that, I had one week of continuous chemo, actually for five days, through a PICC line, and I had radiation for uh, every day for five days, and I kept getting sicker and sicker, and eventually ended up in the ICU at uh, Kaiser. This is from the treatments? From the treatment, and it was only, you know, less than a week, only five days. And I was in ICU for about 16 days. Then I went to a convalescent home for about 18 days. And when I finally got home, I couldn't even take a shower without laying down for two hours afterwards and going to sleep. And I couldn't even walk from the living room to the bathroom. And every time I'd get up off the toilet, it would be very difficult for me to do. And I just had a really, really hard time. And the person in the convalescent home that was next to me told me about you. And so I came and visited you and you convinced me, well, you didn't convince me, you talked to me and told me what your treatments would do. And I told you in two weeks, we wanted to go to New York to celebrate our 46th anniversary. And I knew that I wasn't in any kind of condition so I came to you for two weeks, two days the first week, three days the second week, and I had um, my blood withdrawn and I had... You had oxidation therapy. Right. You had minerals, you had nutrition. Right. And uh, tell the viewer what happened. So I was able to go to New York and walk about seven long blocks. Anybody that knows New York... The avenues are long, the streets are short. So I walked seven long blocks, both to and from. You could barely walk in the door here the first day, is that right? Right, right. and every time I went to Kaiser, in fact, um, the first day from the convalescent home, I had an appointment with uh, Kaiser and the oncologist, and I had to be wheeled in, in a wheelchair. And um, I told the doctor, basically, he broke me. I was in such bad shape. And my hair was all falling out. And it's coming back. You had gross edema in your legs, too, didn't you? Yes. Can we take a look? Well, there. It's not bad now. In fact, there's no edema now. No. I have to wear compression socks right. too. Understood. You also, um, um, you told me you've lost 40 pounds in the meantime too. From the whole situation. 40 pounds from the chemo, the okay. hospital, okay. from you, etc. I think I've lost about 10 pounds with you. But that's weight we wanted to lose. Yes, because by diet change. Exactly, by eating healthy, <laughs> right? Right. Okay, you know, we're not poking any fun here. This is, you know, the average American is in the same boat. So you're pleased with what's happened here, correct? You're having oh, yeah. quality life, right? Much better, yes. Okay, it's something you would recommend <clears throat> integrative and uh, alternative therapies for other people. Oh, absolutely. I don't have to go to the store at Costco and... Sam's on one of those carts anymore. You know, I can actually walk the whole warehouse. That's incredible. And this it is. is just in two weeks with us, you could barely get in the door and then you could do your anniversary trip to New York. Right. I'm, I, I'm delighted. And, <laughs> so am I. And, so are and, we. <laughs> may I video you too? <laughs> this is your husband. Yes, and and, John Wolf. <laughs> thank you. And you're, you're very pleased. Yes, I am. I am. Okay, and I may post this on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> yes? Sure. Thank you very much. People, the reason why I want to do this is people need hope. 
and there's a lot of people with cancer out there and you know even if they decide to do conventional therapy I'm not here to tell somebody not to do conventional therapy although I think it seldom that it should ever be done for cancer not 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 never but seldom but if you are going to do it I think it should be combined with supporting your body with what your body needs rather than nothing but poisons does that make sense well yeah you need to get healthy yeah your body I mean even my skin felt like alligator skin and it's coming around where it's much smoother right and one of the things is we're giving you things to help your fatty acids and phospholipids so thank you for this encouragement I believe and I want the viewer to know I believe in quality of life over quantity and if we get that quality of life generally you will also get quantity as well does that make sense sure thanks oh my god <laughs> Say that. well we usually have massages the yeah. therapist comes to our home and before i started your treatments i couldn't even flip over from my stomach to my back without him helping me and um, when he told me to flip over, he was ready to help me. And I just flipped over and he went, oh my God, what the heck happened here? And so, you know, both he and I were surprised because I was able to right. do such an easy maneuver without help anymore. Wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> yeah.